Hey everybody, welcome back to Mike's Wooden Things and Stuff. Welcome to my monthly feature, I guess we'll call it. Uh, I, I don't remember what I called it though. It's like my favorite tool of right now, or my favorite tool right now, or something. It's basically just an opportunity for me to uh, talk about one of the tools in my shop that has been doing good work for me the last little while. First edition was the Lee Nielsen, or the, the, it's not a Lee Nielsen at all. It's a Veritas. <laughs> The Veritas low angle jack plane uh, did good work flattening my workbench out. I'll leave a link to that up there someplace. Um, episode number two, same company, not Lee Nielsen. Of, of course, they also apparently make very good equipment. But the Veritas dovetail saw. It's, it's a sexy piece of equipment, I gotta say. Um, but it's not just an attractive saw, it's also really effective at cutting dovetails. I've made my first dovetails ever, uh, just over the period of this last few weeks making this cabinet. Uh, that series will be rolling out shortly if it hasn't already started. Uh, if it has, I'll leave a link to that on a corner as well. Um, but in this cabinet, I had, did my first ever dovetails and I used this saw to cut the pins of the pins or the tails? The pins, I think, of the dovetails with this saw because I did the tails on bandsaw. So I did. I haven't done a ton of cutting with this saw yet. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Front ones are half blinds. So eight sets of dovetails cutting one side of them with this saw my first ever dovetails and I was absolutely blown away that I could put this on the end of a piece of wood and zhik, 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 and I was essentially down to my line already um, and I have no idea what I'm doing so uh, my cursory research when I was looking into dovetail saws was that the Veritas was a good entry point into the market for dovetail saws this I think is $95 Canadian which uh, is like 950 American or something. Uh, no, it's, I don't know, maybe 80 bucks, 75, $80 American. Um, and most of the people I saw talking about dovetail saws were saying like, you know, you can start with one of these, but you are going to want to step up to a higher level saw eventually. And while that might be true, I don't know if that's going to be the case for me because I was blown away. And it was my first eight dovetails, so I'm only going to get better with it. And uh, I can't, I can't see myself outgrowing this. And if I do, this is a sexy thing to have up on the wall. <laughs> so um, that's actually one of the reasons I got it is because I have uh, a set of their carcass saws, the rip and crosscut carcass saws. Is that what I have? Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, the rip and the crosscut carcass saw, which is also why I went with the 20 TPI dovetail saw. Because I figured the rip carcass saw is, I think, 14, 12 or 14 TPI. And the coarse dovetail saw, I think, is 14 TPI. So I was like, okay, well, I'll get a 20. And then if I need less teeth per inch because I'm working on thicker material or something... Maybe the rip carcass saw could do that work for me if this one was struggling. But I don't know. I don't know if that's how that's going to work out or if I'm going to need another one of these. I probably will buy another one of these. I'll buy the other one of these anyway because it'll look awesome to go on the wall with these ones. I think the saws are actually going to go in the cabinet because the cabinet turned out way bigger than I thought. And it was supposed to be for measuring and marking tools. There's going to be a lot of empty space in that if I just have squares and chisels and marking gauges in there so the saws might go in there and then this wall might turn into just planes just hand planes that'd be awesome uh but that's not what this video is about this video is about my favorite tool for right now which is the veritas 20 tpi dovetail saw um if you're getting into the market i will add my voice to the chorus of voices that point to Veritas as a good place to start and 
yeah, that's all for this one. Thank you, Veritas Crosscut. It's not a crosscut anything. It's a rip cut. Thank you, Veritas Dovetail Saw, for your work on the joinery cabinet. And uh, thanks to Veritas for making a, a decent little entry-level saw for relatively inexpensive. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Go cut some dovetails or uh, do, make some sawdust somehow. It doesn't have to be dovetails. Throw a piece of wood through your planer. <laughs> Bye for now. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Maybe if this uh, if this cabinet project hasn't started on YouTube before this video goes out, watch for that coming soon. If it has, I'll have a link to whatever the episode episode one I'll have a link for up there. Bye for now.